Sup nerds, today we have War Greymon Stun versus Hunters. I'm on the Dire Wolf, so I'm going first. I hatch Koro, Evo into Agu, and then play Agu and get my Scourge on. Add a Metal X. He hatches Monimon, I believe it's called. Uh, Evo's into Drachmon. Plays Damimon for reduced cost and gets to play out the, the Taiki Kudo for free. Damimon and uh, Shoutmon King version are definitely the two best cards in that deck. Because they're what uh, speeds the deck up. If they didn't have that speed, I wouldn't even care about superior mode. Plays another Damimon. Gets another hit. Plays out the U for free. Sets me to three. So obviously the game plan versus Hunters is to not have two stacks out at the same time. Um, so Evo into Great X for two. Uh, activate X Antibody. Uh, swing, Trigger X Antibody. Evo into Metal X for his cost. I get... Uh, plus 3k and plus 1 security to the end of his turn, so I just swing for 2 checks for 12k. Check another Taiki, Kudo. Sick. He triggers both of them to start a main phase to tuck and draw a card. Hindsight here, I probably should have just focused on building my raising area instead of uh, trying to get early aggression. Because I know if I check Tamers, it's very bad for me. Evo's in the Shoutmon King version for free and then plays out of you for free. Seems good. Evo's into superior mode for four, and triggers his end of turn attack to swing over my Metal Greymon for, I believe he's 14k. Uh, so it clears my body. So Evo into gray for zero, and then metal for three. And at this point, I am pretty far behind. This is not looking awesome for me. He hatches, and then triggers both Taikis to draw a card after tucking. Triggers a U to tuck and gain a memory, and then doesn't trigger the other one. He swings, draws a card, it dies, so he gets to save uh, one card, saves itself, and then save another card in trash. Swings, draws a card, it dies, he gets to do the same thing, he just saves both under the use. Plays Watchmaker, gets max value off his Scourge. Uh, gives him an additional security check. By suspending the watchmaker. So he's 14k, two checks, checks a memory boost and a metal X. Not looking great for me. Then plays a Takiguro and then swings at the triggers the end of turn on a uh, restaurant's effect to swing again. Clears out my security. Not looking good here. Um, the only way for me to get blocker. In this deck, uh, with this current version, is to play out a tie, which I don't have in my hand currently. And so there's no way for me to stop that attack coming out of his raising area here. I would have to hope that I could just kill him on this turn. So I Evo into War Greymon for three. He gets plus 3k and reboot into the end of his opponent's turn. And I scoop. So Hunters takes game one. There was a way I could actually win that turn. If I had Metal X and uh, War Grandma and Ace in my hand, I could have promoted Evoed into Metal X, then Evoed into War Grey Ace, and swung twice at his security for three checks each time, and the first check would have cleared his security, the second check would have killed him. Alright, and I'm going first for game two. Hatch Koro, Evo into Agu, Evo into Agu X. And play my red memory boost, get my Scourge, add the best level four in my deck, the starter deck Greymon. Evo's into Gumdramon. Plays Watchmaker. Does not get max value, thankfully, but he does add the best level 4 in the deck, uh, Shotmon King version. Then plays Taiki for 3, 7 to 3. So Evo into Greymon for 2. And then play another Red Memory Boost to set him to 2. And I add uh, Greymon X Antibody. Accidentally dropped the top card of my deck, but thankfully did not flip face up, so I just put it back. Uh, so neither one of us know what it is. So he triggers Taiki Kudo uh, to draw a card at the beginning of his main phase, and then triggers Taiki Kudo to Evo into Shoutmon for one less. Shoutmon plays Taiki Guro for free. Then he swings, draws two cards. Survives the check. Very cool security, thank you. I would prefer it if he didn't. This deck, Hunters plays like a rookie rush with a very degenerate boss monster it's like they have that early aggression and they also have like a very good way to out boss monsters themselves 
with uh, superior mode and quartz mod as well as uh, super degen. So I promote my Greymon X, and I, I don't have the uh, BT12 uh, metal Greymon, unfortunately, so I could Evo for one. So I'm thinking if it's worth it to try to search for it, but I realize that I don't have enough memory to do that and still Evo into a level 6 without passing turn. So I Evo into Altruist mode for 2, then Evo into Metal X for 0, plus 3k, plus 1 security. Sadly, I do not have piercing, so I can't just swing through his body. Pop both memory boosts, go to 4. And then Evo into Wargreymon Ace for 3. He is 16k for 3 checks. So I swing security first, and then he'll unsuspend from that check. Survive all three, thankfully. And then I swing over the Shotmon King version. He gets a draw card and save one and save another from trash. And then I actually do something illegal here. I should not be able to play this red memory boost because I do not have a red source on field where Grey Ace is purely black. Uh, so what I probably would have been forced to do is just hard pass turn, uh, which would have been a huge deal, uh, but I wouldn't want to put another body out just to give him an, the ability to uh, spear him at one of my things. So slight misplay from me. Uh, so it triggers Taiki, draw a card. He was in a Psych Mom. Plays another Watchmaker for three. Gets max value. And adds a uh, overflowing power with a a clock mon. And then plays clock mon for four, gets some more scourches. He trades out his alt art to Guri uh, for the uh, non alt that he revealed off the search. Fair. Uh, so I hatch Evo into Agu, Evo into Agu X. And I'm actually digging for Quartz Mon here because uh, I fear what he's going to be able to do. Uh, so I'm evoing up my line to draw cards. So Evo into Greymon, Greymon X. And so I should not actually have access to this road memory boost on this turn. Um, so I shouldn't be able to pop it, unfortunately. Uh, so I go to four, Evo into Metal for three, and I do get there. I rip the Quartzmon off the Evo. Now Evo into Quartzmon for six, give him five, suspend everything, and then I gain back one, two, three memory. Uh, so he goes to three from his uh, Takiguro, or Taguro, whatever his name is. So he triggers uh, one Taikikudo to draw a card at the beginning of main phase by tucking. And he goes into Arrested Jermon for max value, full cost. Um, that's why I like Quartzmon in this matchup, is because they can't use their uh, Evo reduction effects from their Tamers. It's so like they can't do like cheeky plays where they basically go up into superior mode for free. Which superior mode wouldn't do anything to me anyway. They could just swing at my security. Then he plays a Yuomano for three to set me to two. Alright, and I promote. So I'm pretty sure I can kill him on this turn. Because his blocker was Clockmon. So I Evo into Metal X for zero. Swing security for two checks, survive both of them, and then swing with Quartz for game. So I do take game two. Firmly on the back of Quartz Mon, that card is uh, super degenerate. So he actually makes me go first for game three, which I'm cool with. I hatch Koro, Evo into Agu, Evo into Agu X, and play with memory boost for three. Add Greymon for two, or Greymon, lol. He hatches, plays Damimon for reduced cost, of course. Hits his Taguri, or whatever it's called. <laughs> Memory setting tamer, and then plays a watchmaker for three. Thankfully, he doesn't get max value out of it. Adds a Drachmon. So I play Agumon for three, search top three, uh, for a Greymon and an Omnimon. Spoilers, I'm not playing any Omnis in this list. So that Agumon should actually be uh, BT12, uh, yellow, red, Agu. Uh, so I add the ace, even on Agu X for zero, add metal. And I pop memory boost to go to two, and then Evo for two, go to zero. Evo into Greymon X for zero. And then Evo into metal for three memory. And Evo's into Drachmon, swings with Dami, dies. Um, he should have triggered the uh, when attacking effects to draw a card. 
I mean, he didn't remove him until after it uh, died to the security check. He gets to save both under his uh, memory setter. And plays King Mersion for three. Plays out the Taiki Kudo. And plays you for three to set me to three. And King Version has Blocker, which isn't really a big deal for me. My stack in Raising uh, would have Piercing anyway, so. So I promote. Evo into Alterus mode for zero. Evo into War Grandmon for three, plus 3k and reboot until the end of his turn. So he is currently, what, 17k? So I swing Raid into his Shoutmon, unsuspend from the Raid effect, or from War Grandmon's effect. And then pierce through him for just one check. Swing with Agumon, it dies, let's go. And swing again for another check. And Evo into Quartzmon for six. Suspend everything and then gain back two memory to put him to four. And because I get reboot from the War Grandma, my Quartzmon unsuspends. Lego. LOL. He Evos into a Restramon for the full value. And then plays Clockmon for four. Gets a Scourge on. So for those of you that are curious why I'm playing Quartzmon on this list, i much rather play Hades Force, but because of the fact that the War Grandma and Ace is only 6 play cost, Hades Force is objectively just bad if I have a War Grandma and Ace on the field. Also, I'd have to have a red source on top of my War Grandma and Ace to be able to activate Hades Force. Um, he ends up just like winning games with people that can't out him though, which is uh, pretty nice. So I hatch my Koro. So I swing security, tap the non-blocker, uh, trash the top card of security, which is a tamer, cool, and then check the second one. I was hoping to, hoping to bait him to block that, uh, just to out one of his bodies, but he didn't, uh, which is whatever. Then activate red memory boost, legally this time, since I have my Tama hatched. And then he goes to three. He hatches, activate Sekiguro to draw a card after tucking. He was into Gumdramon. Swings with Clockmon, it dies, gets to save it. And he scoops. Nothing he can do about that. I'm gonna kill him on my next turn. He can't play another blocker. He would have had to play a second Clockmon and keep the other Clockmon on suspended in order to not die, but I would do take the match 2-1. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy some of this kind of content. Wanna come back for more? But until next time, see ya.